I'm going to now go over this deformation toolbar and just sort of explain to you what some of these buttons, what they, what the most important ones do. And I'm going to just sort of start by maybe, um, we know what the rigging one does because we've actually been using that one so far. Now, this second button shows selected deformers and hide all others. Because we've been working on this file and we can see all of these deformers, I'm going to turn them all off. I'm going to just turn my camera view toolbar on and I'm going to press this button, hide all controllers. As you get to know the character a little bit, um, you will know which pieces of, of um, your character has deformers on it. And we already know. We, we know this has a deformer and this piece of hair has a deformer and this one does. And if I want to turn the, the deformers on that I know exist, I can simply select the element and press this second button, show selected deformers and hide all others. Again, I can do the same thing here, show selected deformer, show selected deformer, and it's going to hide the other ones. Whoops. Now, if I've got some keyframing, and I'm just going to hit F5, okay, and I have some sort of deform deformation I don't like, I can, I can select that deformer, and I can find it in my, let's just take a look in our node view, there it is right there, that's my deformation group. I can select that and I can press this one. Reset current frame. If I want to bring something back to normal, this will reset the current frame of any of any deformer that you choose. That's the same as in keyframe if I if I just squash and stretch something with the peg transformation, it's shift R. But if you want to reset a deformer's position, I can just press this button, reset. So this puts the deformer, deformers in. This is the one that shows them, and this is the one that resets them. Now, these other ones are I'm going to talk about in a later video that shows, about, shows you how to add additional deformers to a single drawing. And this little window here will get explained in that video as well. But finally we have enable deformers. Now, why would you want to disable a deformer? Well, sometimes when you're working and you've got some sort of art that you want to modify. In my camera view, if I was to take my drawing tool out and try and draw a line like this, Notice it bounced over there, bounced over there. And that's because you can't, it's very difficult to draw when a drawing is deformed. But I can simply turn off my deformer, and I'll just, I'll draw that line again. Let's just put it anywhere right here. And then turn the deformer back on, and now you can see the line is where I originally put it. So sometimes you want to turn off your deformers to modify your art. Hopefully that makes the deformer toolbar a little clearer, at least these three buttons and this last button. And these next two we'll talk about when we talk about um, having multiple drawings, on multiple deformers on, on multiple drawings in your library. Okay, thank you very much.